and they're off. The favourite ra Rocket Rodney on the right in the red and white jacket alongside Thundermore in the noseband. Down the centre, Dickie Bird showing speed from looking for Linda and they're trapped by Wallbank. Out on the far side, Eddie's Boy showing a lot of dash. Chased on that far side by Studio City as they race through the first quarter mile. Trillium, the filly, is towards the right and just at the back of that the little group of three heading down the hill here. And Thundermore has got the rail now from Rocket Rodney. Down the centre, Dickie Bird has pushed along. Studio City is chasing at the back and struggling to go on. Eddie's boy still showing lots of speed. Wallbank looks poised to challenge as well. Rocket Rodney taking it up on the near side. Wallbank unleashed far side of Eddie's boy as they race on now towards the final 150 yards. Looking for Linda stays on. So to the Philly Trillium. Trillium is charging home on the near side. Grabs Rocket Rodney and Trillium. Oh, nice Philly. Trillium wins the Malcolm. Second Rocket Rodney just from Wallbank in third. Eddie's boy in fourth. Pat Dobbs was the man on board. Trillium, the Philly, who beat the Colts to win the Group 3 Malcolm States. Congratulations. She looks very, very good indeed. Talk me through the race from your perspective. Yeah, she can be a little bit king. So Richard just said to get her to relax. Um, but we're going pretty quick. If she didn't relax going that speed, there's something wrong with her. But <laughs> anyway, she got into a nice rhythm and um, picked up better than I thought she would, actually. She got there a little bit too soon, but she's very good. Um, six won't be a problem either. So. Did you have a decision to make about where to challenge? Yeah, because I went to go right to Danny um, just to make sure I got a clear run. But when I went to go right, he switched a little bit that way. So She looks left anyway normally sometimes, like she did the first half of the race at Newbury. She's inclined to go that way, but once she's off the bridle, she's straight, so she's straight forward. I suppose that burst of speed that she showed at Newby would have given you confidence to dr dr deal with the drop back to five, even a sharp five like this. Yeah, she walked at Kempton earlier on the year with a real good filly, and um, she walked better than her, so she, we knew she was pretty good. Um, it was just keeping a lid on her. So no one ever's going to be a little bit excitable, but um, every race she's getting better. And Richard was talking about her physicality and how she seems to be really thriving now. Do you see that and do you feel that too? Yeah, when you sit on her, she don't feel like a two-year-old. Like her, her bum is way above her, her wither still, so she's a lot of growing left to do. Um, I'm sure she'll train on. I'm not sure for how far she gets. She's so quick, so we'll see. Morney and Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint they're talking about. Yeah, they always get excited straight away. <laughs> I'll wait and see. I'd rather keep her here for the time being. I'm, I'm sure. Um, Richard said that you won't be right, right twice, uh, <laughs> so he's not expecting you to win on Chindit. What are you expecting? Yeah, he's improved again, I think. I know it might sound a bit silly, but he, he worked... did last time. Yeah, he fought well. He's he's a horse. Earlier on in his career, he was keen, and you drop him out too far it was kind of disappointing him. But he was afraid. I was afraid to let him in the race because he, he could do too much. So it was, was caught between a hard place and a, and a rock. So he's settled down a lot bit this year, and he's getting into a nice rhythm in his races. It looks to be a lot of speed today, so. I'd see how we get, let him get in his own rhythm and see how we go from there. Yeah, I was going to ask you about tactics wise. There does seem to be probably quite a fight on for the lead. Yeah, um, I don't want to be getting involved in that. Yeah, yeah. Last time it seemed to me from the outside that you saved quite a bit in the close stages and actually he was more dominant in that summer mile than maybe the winning margin suggested. Would that be fair? Yeah, um, he's a horse that I like to fill him up in his races for the, to finish his races off. So, like, Last year in France I, I travelled better than, than a lot of them in the race. I, um, do avail but he kind of hit a flat spot and just stayed in the same position so um, we'll see how we go um, there's a lot of prize money for second and third so hopefully we'll pick up some of that you're, you're handing the win to Baye don't you well he looks a superstar and on his day he's on beat well, best of luck nonetheless and congratulations here thanks Lee. cheers Richard Hannon has won the Morecambe for the second year on the bounce. Armour won it last time. This time the Philly Trillium has won. Congratulations. That was impressive in the end. Yeah, um, she's always been a very a lovely filly. I was amazed she didn't win here first time, but she probably didn't know enough and she was a bit keen. And she won a maiden very nicely at, at Newbury. We came back from six to five and she's starting to look uh, like a very, very good two year old, like the strong two year old fillies do. And she came in pretty late, but you know she's a credit to to Rockcliffe Stud, they bred her, and um, she looks a very good filly. I look at something like the Morney, and I think Ed Sapple mentioned the Breeders' Cup. He always mentions things, mentions things like that. You know, he <laughs> likes to overclub it somewhat, but I like <laughs> to think he's right. The Breeders' Cup Juvenile Sprint and the Morney. Yeah, so, you know. yeah the Morney. I didn't put her in the loud there because she wasn't showing this sort of speed then, but. You know, we're, we've been extremely lucky in these colours, the Sky Lantern and Snow Lantern, and 
you get a lot of, lot of luck for the Keswick, so it's, it's lovely. And they, they, you know, she's a homebred, so it means that, that much more. She's raised and grazed by them. Do you think she's more than a two-year-old? I think she's starting to look. She's not silly in terms of she, she doesn't have to sprint. Six furlongs won't be a problem. And she doesn't. She looks like a very tall, strong two-year-old. You know, she's kind of in the happy romance mold. She's not as long as happy romance. Um, but I'd love to think she's a filly for next year. She's a group winner now, and so I don't want to say it doesn't matter, but I mean, it would be a bonus. Yes. Was it a difficult decision to choose a five furlong race Yeah, for I wanted to, well, there's a conditions race later on. Yeah, that's careful, yeah. Yeah, and that's worth nearly as much money. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, but I'd be annoyed if you'd won that and you'd watch, you'd thought, oh, you might have won the Molkham, and it was a home ride. you think, oh, I might have slipped up there slightly. So. Correct decision. Well, yeah, it's not often we do that, but yeah, it, it was this time, yeah. Looking ahead to the Sussex Stakes, what are you expecting and hoping from Chinder? Well, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, it's a sign of madness. It's kind of where we are taking on Baye. You know, he's an extremely good horse. We're probably all racing for the, for the also round money. But, you know, he's an extremely good horse. He's won his group too. He's got to have his shots at these races yes. and you never know. It's happened before. Real Buddy won it at 66 to 1, I think. My dad trained him. It's nothing to do with me. But... <laughs> Take partial credit, right? Why not? Any change of tactics? Were you, not, were you hinting at a change of tactics? I know you have. Were you hinting at a change of tactics, though? Well, yeah, we probably will just sit wherever he's happy. He's not okay. a complicated horse. Let Dobbsy do what he wants. He's, he was right there. He, he, might be, he won't be right twice in a row, but maybe. <laughs>